senior Hamas officials joined Mandela family for Nelson Mandela's 10th death anniversary. According to AFP, Hamas representatives laid a wreath at Mandela's statue, drawing attention to the Gaza conflict. Mandela Mandela, Nelson Mandela's grandson, shares that the visit provided Hamas officials with a first-hand look at the daily atrocities in Gaza. He emphasizes the shared experience of facing apartheid and overcoming it in South Africa. The South African government, through President Cyril Ramaphosa, officially calls on the International Criminal Court to investigate what they label as Israel's war crimes in Gaza. In response to criticism regarding their stance on the Israel-Hamas conflict, the Swedish branch of Fridays for Future, led by renowned activist Greta Thunberg, stands firm in its support for Palestinians in Gaza. In op-eds published in Afton Bledet and The Guardian, FFF, Sweden addresses accusations of radicalization, asserting that they have always been inherently political as a movement for justice. The op-eds emphasized FFF's commitment to speaking out against human suffering, forced displacement and violence, irrespective of the underlying causes. They clarified that their advocacy extends beyond climate issues, stating, standing in solidarity with Palestinians and all affected civilians has never been in question for us. Internationally, the Fridays for Future group condemns what they term as genocide in Gaza and criticizes perceived Western support and misinformation. Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani urges the UN Security Council to compel Israel back to the negotiation table regarding the Gaza conflict. According to Reuters, he criticizes the international community's inaction, deeming it shameful that the conflict persists for nearly two months. Speaking at a regional summit in Doha, Sheikh Tamim emphasizes the ongoing systematic and deliberate killing of innocent civilians, including women and children. He expresses Qatar's continuous efforts to renew truces and alleviate the burden on the people in Gaza, but stresses that truces are not a substitute for a comprehensive ceasefire. Qatar's Amir calls for decisive action portraying the situation as a heinous crime that demands intervention. In a strong rebuke at the Gulf Cooperation Council summit, Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani condemns Israel, asserting that its occupation forces violate political, ethical, and humanitarian values. As reported by Al Jazeera, Sheikh Tamim expresses deep concern over what he labels a heinous crime, criticizing the international community for allowing the systemic and purposeful killing of innocent unarmed civilians, declaring it a genocide committed by Israel. He commends the Palestinians for their resilience in the face of adversity, lauding them for holding steadfast to their just cause. The Emir calls for a full and lasting ceasefire, emphasizing the urgent need to halt what he sees as Israel's egregious actions.